So George, if you can, tell me about the origins of this project. I'm curious how far back it goes. Um, it started about 15 years ago. I had, um, you know, I have a lot, I, I have a lot of daughters. I have two daughters and now I have three. And uh, I made Star Wars, you know, primarily for 12 year old boys. And uh, I decided that after everybody loved it, girls, boys, 80 year olds, uh, that um, maybe it'd be fun to do one that was more oriented toward girls and it'd be more like a fairy tale in mythology. And so, uh, and I wanted to do something where I could use all my favorite music. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, it was really something I just wanted to do for the fun and have a good time doing it. So that's what actually started it and inspired it. So it was always planned as a musical? Yeah. And uh, what was your involvement in it just from like a day-to-day -day basis while it was in production? Well, for about the first 10 years, it was just me and, you know, maybe a dozen other guys working on design of the characters, design of the sets, doing a lot of work in terms of uh, improving the technology of animation so that we could actually create some of the reality that we wanted to do here. And then uh, in the last five years, you know, have a director and writer and, uh, you know, and then uh, uh, Marius came on and we started trying to fit the music actually together. Uh, and, um, and I was involved for a while and then, you know, involved and we got pretty much down the road and then I ended up selling the company to Disney. And um, it checked in once in a while, but mostly from that point it just sort of went off and got finished. Yeah. And Elijah, what are the challenges, if any, of, of doing an animated film like this? I don't, you know, I don't consider them real challenges. I, I think that there are, there are opportunities. You know, you get this opportunity to go in and create and visualize this whole world that doesn't really exist. So, you know, you got to be very in tune with the story, very in tune with the character. But George did an incredible, you know, job of painting what this universe is and what it, what it looks like. So my job was a bit easier, you know, going into it. But you still have to visualize from nothing. It's almost like acting on a green screen. But it's a bit more extreme than that because there is no there is no green screen. Right. You, you know, make it up everything. And you were in Red Tails as well, so you have a, a, a history with George. What is right. it that makes uh, him as a collaborator so special? Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm short. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can look him in the eyes. Um, but some something something in this, and I you know I, I take it I take it to heart that I'm you know that I'm able to look one of the greatest and creative minds in the 21st century in the eye, you know, and absorb wisdom. You know, you don't, you don't find that type of opportunity every day. And I'm so humbled and I'm so blessed by God. I thank God every day that I have that opportunity because, you know, aside from Star Wars and Indiana Jones and all, and all of his, all of his things, all of his accolades, he's an amazing person and he represents an idea that, you know, one thought, finishing one amazing thought can change your universe. And um, I bought into that, and I live by that now. And George, do you know what your next film is going to be? Do you have plans to direct something soon? Well, I'm mostly doing work like this. I say I'm working my way back to my student films. Yeah. This is going through the American graffiti phase. Uh, and um, so primarily, you know, I'm going to make little experimental films that I'm just going to do, and you know, they're probably not going to be shown or anything. Because, <laughs> just you know, it's hard to enough me. when you're doing things to uh, you know get them released and doing all that stuff and I just r rather just make the movies I want to make and have fun with it this is basically what this is and it's you know a, a f I think it turned out to be a really fun movie this yeah. is what happens when George Lucas just wants to have fun <laughs> <laughs>